מסיר חג'אג', כל הכבוד. בוקר טוב רבותיי, בוקר טוב מורה ורבותיי. You know, today we see manifestations and everyone is yelling and streaming about democracy, 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 democracy. Freedom of speech, freedom of speech, freedom of speech. It's like the, the Torah of the world, democracy and freedom of, of speech. But people that are demanding democracy, people that are demanding freedom of speech, they're really demanding it? Or it is just that, you know, come, whatever comes from the mouth. You know, I saw something, and I'm sure every one of you saw last week, uh, or this week, there is a, a person with a beard, with a peot, he has white shirt, he has a blue pants, black pants, he's in the bus. And all of a sudden, there is a lady starting to yell at him, go to the army go to the army. Mm. So he tells her, he looked at her and said, are you talking to me? She said, yes, go to the army. He says, ah, but I was in the army. Not only that I was in the army, I was a captain in the army. And not, not only that, I was in very, very, very secret uh, brigade. Now he is asking her, did you go to the army? She said, yes. Then she said to him, if you were in the army, why are you wearing black and white? So it's not anymore about democracy. Why are you wearing black and white? Why you have peot? Why you, you religious people bring 10 kids? I have two cats, I have four dogs or whatever, and I have one daughter. Where is the democracy over here? We're talking about democracy, freedom of speech. In the end, he showed the picture of him that he's in the army. He's not a lawyer, he's not a lying. He was in the army, he, he had, he's a captain in the army. And not only that, he's a lawyer. So what, because of my peot, you judging me? Because of my looking, you are judging me? So because of that, this is, showing that this is a, an argument that is not the Shem Shamaim. Now, we know that any argument that it is in the Shem Shamaim, Rabotena Kedushim teach us in the Mishnah and Perkei Avot, we said, Kol machloket shei le Shem Shamaim, sofa lit kayem. Any argument that it is le Shem Shamaim, we can have argument, you have freedom of speech, there is a democracy, yes, in the Torah, it is democracy. The Torah, it's a freedom of speech. Say whatever you want to say. You want even to say against the Kadosh Baruch Hu? Say again against the Kadosh Baruch Hu. But go pray Mincha when the time is Mincha is. Pray Shacharit in the time of Shacharit. Pray Arvit. Do Birkat Amazon. You can argue with Hashem, no problem. But follow the Torah, follow the mitzvot. This is democracy. Now, we come over here, and we see what Rabotenu is teaching us. Rabotenu is teaching us. Machloket, machloket the Shem Shamaim, if we are argument, and it is the Shem Shamaim, it is Shamai, the Machloket of Shamai and Hillel. What, if, what is the proof that their Machloket was the Shem Shamaim? What is the proof? They argued. I can argue with you. I have no problem to argue with you. But in the end of the argument, there is Shiduchim, you know, my daughter, your daughter, your, my kid, my son, your... They did Shiduchim together. It's, it means they didn't take the argument to their house. The argument was in Bet Midrash. Why? Because they wanted to know what is Hashem wants. The argument is not who is right, who is wrong. It's what HaKadosh Baruch Hu wants. This is my argument Leshem Shamayim. There is no personal interest. But when we come to Korach in his 250 Chachamim, with his 
250 stages. Now what is Korach doing? Korach is making it, he's playing it nice. That he's fighting for everyone. He, I'm not fighting for my honor. He's fighting for the honor of everybody. This is the best show when you show people that you're fighting their honor, not his honor. But at the same time, he's fighting his honor. And what we look at the uh, Korach is fighting his fight, his own fight, but he shows that it is the Bene Israel. Whoa, Moshe, Aaron, they took everything. What, uh, and, uh, and look how they're embarrassing us. We, the Leviim, look, look at Moshe, look at him. He has a long hair, he has a peot, he has a beard. And we, the Leviim, he shave our head. Why he shave our head? You know why? Because he wants, to, he wants us to be embarrassed. He shave our head and he come with stories. And people said, oh, he's right. He's right. Where is the democracy? Huh? There is no democracy. Machloket she'ena l'shem shamayim. It is not l'shem shamayim. That's why we don't say the machloket, the argument of Moshe and Korach, because Moshe was not in this argument. It's only Korach and his people was in this argument. Now, you know, Rabotai, there is something, even today there is arguments. You know, and this is, I said, always, 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 always. You know, today if you think that any argument that you have with the, your wife, your friend, your neighbor, your son, uh, your neighbor in the tefillah, any place, whatever. You think that your argument is the Shem Shamayim, sometimes you see Beta Knesset, uh, they are arguing and arguing about whatever they're arguing. It's not the Shem Shamayim. You know, Rabotai, the Gaon Mivilna said, today there is no machloket the Shem Shamayim. There is no argument the Shem Shamayim. You see an argument, it's all Shem Shamayim. And, 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 and it's amazing, you know, uh, 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 the Gaon Mivin Ala Shalom, he brings Rabban Gamliel. You know, Rabban Gamliel, he was the head of the Sanhedrin. He was a big tzaddik, he was tough. Rabban Gamliel was very, very tough. He was not easy person to do. He was not easy person to deal with. Very, very tough. He was the head of the Sanhedrin. And what we learned about... Uh, Rabban Gamliel, he had an argument about Filat uh, Arvit, if it is obligation or not obligation. Uh, to make the, the story short, uh, Rabban Gamliel punished uh, Rabbi Yushua, and Chachamim didn't like that he punished him. So they decided to take down Rabban Gamliel from being Nasi, the president. So instead of him, they brought Rabbi Lazar ben Azraya from the Agada, Rabbi Lazar ben Azraya, that was only 18 years old. So imagine yourself, they take Rabban Gamliel, that was the head, and they take uh, Rabbi Lazar ben Azraya, that was only 18 years old, and they put him instead. You know what kind of embarrassment is that, is, is that for Rabban Gamliel? You would think that Rabban Gamliel would continue to go to this Bet Bidrash? For sure, Rabban Gamliel will be changing his Bet Bidrash. Nahon? Like people, they have argument in Bet Bet Knesset, or they have, they have an argument. Whatever argument is it, you are right, we are wrong. We, we don't care if you are right, you are wrong. But you have an argument. The first thing that people do, they punish the Bet Knesset. They punish the Arsh of Hashem. What they do? They leave. They go to another Bet Knesset. Ma, ma Sita, what did you do? You actually proved that your machloket was not the Shem Shamayim. Your argument was not the Shem Shamayim. You know what Rabban Gamliel did? Rabban Gamliel, the next day that they took him down for being Nasi, his chair was here. The next morning, he came and he was sitting like a Talmud, like a student. You know what is this? When Chachamim, they saw Rabban Gamliel, that he came back the next day, and he came back like a Talmud, not like a, a, the president, he came like a student. 
חכמים דה אדוסטו, that everything רבן גמליאל did, he was לשם שמיים. It was not for personal interest. So they brought him back to be Nasi. This is showing you, don't think, oh, because you're fighting for this mizmor, we have to do this mizmor, or we have to do this mizmor, and the sitting has to be like that, or the sitting has to be like that, or the halacha has to be like that. Forget about all this, Rabotai. Do everything l'shem shamayim, and if you have an argument, you know, Rabotai, we see this in machlokot in the house, You have a machloket with your wife. You have an argument with your wife. If you get to, the, to divorce, it means that your argument was not Hashem Shamayim. Pashut me'od. Why your argument was not Hashem Shamayim? If you argue, and it is Hashem Shamayim, and the end, this, the soft, the end of it, will be peaceful. Pashut me'od. I wish you a great day, Be'ad Hashem, and Hatzlacha, and Be'ad Hashem. I think tomorrow it's Gimel Tammuz, the Lula of the Tzadik, Arabi HaKadosh, Zechotot Dagen Ba'adenu, Amen, Amen.